In this video, I will attempt to outline a theory of the working principles of a vehicle powered by an impulse drive slash engine. A vehicle powered by impulse drives have four main parts. The first part is the payload. A payload can be anything from a satellite, a warhead, or crew for space exploration. The second part is the fuel tank. This can vary. Most common fuels are usually those that are categorized as nuclear. The third part is the catalyst chamber. The catalyst is combined with the fuel to allow the impulse drive to operate at power ratings beyond that of conventional thrusters. Impulse drives are rated as a percent of C, the speed of light. Idled and at their lowest speed, impulse drives output a speed equal to 0.01% the speed of light. The maximum output of an impulse drive is 99.9% C. The fourth part is the impulse drive slash engine comprised of several inter interdependent components. These components are cold start ignition tank, mixing tank, secondary reactor, fuel boost pump, catalyst boost pump, reaction chamber, throat, and nozzle. Before the ignition process, the impulse drive is in its cold state. This is known as a cold start. During the ignition process, the material inside the cold start ignition tank creates enough energy to operate the secondary reactor. Once the secondary reactor comes online, the impulse drive is no longer in its cold state. The process before and during ignition is known as the cold state. Once the ignition tank begins to supply the secondary reactor with a flow of power, the impulse drive is said to be in the ground state. The secondary reactor primarily generates energy and is connected indirectly to the fuel and catalyst pumps. The secondary reactor powers the fuel and catalyst pumps, which in turn supply fuel and catalyst to the reaction chamber. The secondary reactor also supplies energy to the reaction chamber. Once the fuel, catalyst, and energy produced by the secondary reactor fuel and catalyst pumps are all combined, ignition can begin and the activation and or operation of the impulse drive slash engine can start. At the same time, a small continuous amount of fuel, catalyst, and energy is diverted to the mixing chamber. Fuel, catalyst, and energy are ignited to directly power the secondary reactor. The outlet of the secondary reactor is connected to an exhaust pipe to expel the exhaust. At this point, the impulse engine is said to be in its ground state. The secondary reactors are the primary reactors for maneuvering thrusters. The reaction chamber also supplies a minimum amount of power to the maneuvering thrusters indirectly being connected to the maneuvering engines. Force generated by the impulse drive is proportionate to the speed of the medium being expelled from the reaction chamber. The faster the medium being expelled, the more thrust will be generated. Thrust is controlled by the throat. When the flow area of pressurized medium decreases, the velocity of the medium increases until it reaches the speed of sound, at which point reducing the area causes shock waves inside the nozzle. To reduce shock waves and to increase velocity, the area of the nozzle must be increased. We call the area where the flow of medium speed is subsonic to supersonic, the throat of the nozzle. The term throat of the nozzle implies for speeds reaching the speed of light as well. Impulse is measured as a percent of the speed of light. Impulse engines slash drives are all designed to operate at speeds measured as a percent of light speed, up to 99.9%. Impulse is a relative speed unit. Ships of different scales and mass travel relative to themselves at various speeds. 
impulse serves as a universal scale of distance traveled over a duration of time. Impulse allows speed and course to be matched. If a ship is traveling at 0.5 impulse, it is traveling at 50% or one half the speed of light. A smaller vehicle would have to output much, much more speed and travel much faster in relation to a large ship, but their relative speed to each other would also be 0 0.5 impulse. Smaller vehicles travel much faster at much slower power outputs, but the function of the impulse drive is high speed travel below the speed of light in a way that is understandable by the navigator.